This video is brought to you by myvayteaching.com. In this part, uh, let us see blowing of sea breeze and land breeze. Okay. What is this breeze? Usually, this gentle wind which blows in the atmosphere, we call it as breeze. Isn't it? The people which are you know who are living in coastal areas, they experience an interesting phenomenon called uh, sea breeze and even land breeze. These two are based on uh, transfer of heat in air by convection currents. How it happens? Let us see. See during the daytime when sun shines. And the breeze blowing from the sea towards the land. Sea towards the land is called as sea breeze. Okay. And how it happens means in a daytime when the sun shines, the solid land, this land it gets heated to a higher temperature, isn't it? Much more quickly than the liquid sea water. And the hot air over rises upwards over this land it rises upwards and cooler air from over the sea moves towards the land in the form of cool breeze since this uh, hot air rises up upwards this cool air from the sea it moves towards the land and it forms that convection currents and the breeze blowing from sea towards the land we call it as sea breeze and the cool sea breeze blows only during the daytime when the land is hotter than sea. At that time only hot air from the land blows up and cold air from the sea moves towards the land. Isn't it? To receive the cold sea breeze during the day, the windows of houses in coastal areas are made to face the sea. Whereas uh, during the night time what happens? Obviously, the hot land cools much faster than the sea, isn't it? Warm sea water. And due to this, now the hot air in the sea it moves upwards and the cold air from the land, it moves towards the sea, isn't it? And due to this, this land becomes cool very quickly, but the sea water remains warm for much longer time. So during the night, the hot air over the warm sea rises upwards and cooler air from the land blows in towards the sea in the form of breeze. So the breeze blowing from land towards the sea is called as land breeze. Okay, this is the concept of sea breeze that takes place during the daytime and land breeze which takes place during the night time. Now let us study another method of transferring heat that is radiation. Okay. See when we switch on an electric bulb, it becomes hot and it gives out heat and light. Is it? Now, if we keep our hand a short distance below this bulb, as you can see in this figure, if you keep our hand here, we can feel its heat on the hand. Is it? This means that this means that that the hot electric bulb cannot transfer its heat to our hand by conduction because A is a poor conductor of heat. The hot bulb also it cannot transfer its heat to our hand by convection because the convection currents of air always carry heat in the upward direction not in the downward direction so the hot electric bulb it transports its heat to our hand by the process of radiation okay every hot object emits invisible heat rays in all the directions so these heat rays they carry heat energy when these heat rays fall on cold object that cold object it receives the heat energy and it gets heated. So heat energy is transferred from hot object to cold object by means of heat rays. So this method of transfer of heat energy by heat rays is called as radiation. 
so we can say radiation is the transfer of heat energy from hot body to a cold body by means of heat rays without any material medium between them isn't it and the best example is the transfer of heat energy of the sun to the earth when we come out in the sunshine we feel hot it means that heat from the sun is being transferred to us which makes us feel hot isn't it now let us see how does heat from the sun reach on the earth how it is possible see heat from the sun it reaches on the earth by the process of radiation the invisible heat rays as you can see here these are the invisible uh, heat rays they transfer heat by radiation they are called as infrared rays they are invisible and in our day to day life we have many situations where heat is transferred by radiation through a medium called air and in all these uh, following example heat is transferred by radiation through air for example when we stand next to a burning fire we can feel the heat of the fire falling on our face so the in that case the heat is transferred from the fire to our face by the process of radiation yes and when we sit in front of a room heater we feel the same heat directly by the process of radiation and when a hot utensil kept away from the flame cools down by transferring its heat to the surroundings by radiation and depending on the temperature of surroundings a body too gives heat to the surroundings or receives heat from the surroundings by radiation so in all these cases we feel heat isn't it yes